Hi. Uh, welcome to this. I'm just going to talk over the Resident Evil thing. Maybe not too much. Uh, Resident Evil Showcase, Max Dude is streaming it, so fuck it, I'm going to stream it. And uh, it seems like we're going to get information on a couple things, not just Resident Evil 8. I don't know how long this is supposed to be. I'm not going to tweet about it. I'm just going to stream it and talk over it a little bit. So just some commentary. I've been really excited about Resident Evil 8. Maybe one of my top games of the year. If Breath of the Wild 2 isn't really confirmed, um, then, um, you know, this is my favorite uh, or most anticipated game of the year, Resident Evil 8, I would say. Just about. Close to it, if not the. If not the. Brit, Brit, is that a helmet that looks like your hair? Tall vampire woman incoming. Yeah, that's that's true. People really enjoy that, and uh, it's it's one of those things that just became like an instant meme. So, Capcom knows what they're doing. They know what they're doing. But I'm very excited for uh, Resident Evil 8. Not as excited for Resident Evil 4 Remake, but if they show us the Resident Evil 4 Remake, I would... I'd be happy just to see what they're doing with it. Like, maybe we'll get a trailer? Resident Evil 4 VR? I, I'm somewhat interested in that. It would need to be first person, which could be interesting. Um, Resident Evil 4 is one of my favorite games ever. So, you know, who knows? Uh, maybe it'll be good, but I, I would love to see that. I wonder what other Resident Evil stuff we would get today. So definitely Resident Evil 8. And RE4 Remake, I think we have confirmation that that's definitely happening. But what else do you think we'll get, chat? Multiplayer spin-off? Yeah, because those have gone really well for Capcom, haven't they? Revelations 3? I haven't played Re Revelations 2, but I played through Revelations 1 twice, and that's a good game. Pokemon. Hmm. People are going to be pissed that there's no Smash character announcement in a Capcom reveal. The fuck, bro? Where's Gino? Where's Waluigi, bro? <laughs> Code Veronica remake would be my choice of remake. 100%. New Zelda Oracle games. This is a Resident Evil showcase. play Wonderwall. I do have my, my capo here from when I was doing uh, the New Year's Eve stream, or New Year's Eve VR chat, so I could play it. So what is it? Something like that. Some, yeah, something like that. It's probably going to get me claimed. Even though there's ticking in the background. You may be surprised to learn this, but I actually don't... think I ever tried to learn Wonderwall until people memed it... into my life again. Like, I like the song well enough, but that's... all the years I've played guitar, I don't think I ever looked up Wonderwall chords. I prefer, um, don't look back in anger, anyway.
It's not like... I think it's A minor and then G. Yeah, it's a good one. I like that one a lot. Champagne Supernova is great too, yeah. Do you- how do you feel about finger style for guitar? Uh, I- I- um, different types of stuff I can do, but not very well. I'm not like Paul McCartney with it. You can't really hear it on an electric 12-string that's not plugged in, but... Alright, get ready to move your fingers! But I can- I can, you know, I can do it without a guitar pick, but I just don't... I don't really do it often. Blackbird, I play like that. But anyway, um, God, I don't even know chat. I'm I'm excited about this Resident Evil thing, and I'm gonna put my guitar away. Um, I just you know I figured I had it with me anyway, so here it is. Uh, this twelve string is fun. It's addictive too. The uh, it's also increased the calluses on my fingers because you're pressing down on two strings at the same time. So it, so yeah. fun. Here we go. Here we go, chat. Resident Evil Showcase begins now. Tall vampire lady. Incoming. Confirmed. Oh man, I love that they're trying something really weird with this one, and they're going into like weird mythology. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us today, and welcome to our Resident Evil Showcase. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, here to give you a closer look into what Capcom has coming up for the Resident Evil franchise. We'll be kicking things off with some brand new content and an exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay that you do not want to miss. So without further ado, Why are the frame rates so low? Chat, is this like this on your stream, if you were to play it on your own? The frame rate's low and weird? Hey now, think positively, alright? No. We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Oh. The YouTube stream is really good. The Twitch one is a rehost. Okay. I regret to inform you that Ethan Winters has escaped that fool Heisenberg. Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him, no, Mother Miranda. Yes, Mother Miranda. Of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. Rituals? I won't let you down. <laughs> so weird. Hang on. I'm switching. I'm switching to the Someone YouTube thing. Tell me, what the hell is going on here? No. The place is full of nothing but blood and death. Chat, can I get a link directly to the YouTube stream without the page itself? I could just, like, throw it in here. I hate you. Oh man, there this looks good. Are. Even in low <laughs> FPS, it looks good. I love this snowy village. Who the fuck are you? Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan Winters. <laughs> Who is this? Shit lord, I love him. It's the Undertaker. <laughs> Oh, Bloodborne? Yeah. 
<laughs> it does look a little bit bloodborne -y, huh? That was amazing, but I still have so many questions. Like, when can I pre-order this thing? Perhaps producer Pete Fabiano has some answers for us. Let's see what he has to say. Hey everyone, I'm Pete Fabiano, producer on Resident Evil Village. When we first announced Resident Evil Village back in June, we only mentioned PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X. Thank you, Desert. I'm happy to announce we've been working hard to bring the survival horror experience onto current generation consoles as well. Resident Evil Village will also... What? Why is it here? Chat, why is it here? Uh, I'm sorry? Like, when can I pre-order this thing? Okay, uh, the Perhaps frame rates are not that Pete much better Fabiano here. has some answers for us. Let's see what he has to say. Click the live button. Hey everyone, I'm Pete Fabiano, producer on Resident Evil Village. When we first announced Resident Evil Village back in June... Let's start, we'll we just watch from here, it's fine. 5. I'm happy to announce that we've been working hard to bring the survival horror experience onto current gen as well. Resident Evil Village will also be coming to PlayStation 4 day and date with PlayStation 5. The PS4 version can be upgraded for free to the digital PS5 version. It's also my pleasure to tell you exactly when you can get your hands on the game. Is this going to be like a cyberpunk situation? Resident Evil Village will be available worldwide on May, 7th, May. 2021. A couple days before my birthday. kicking off today. Alongside the standard edition, we have a few other options for the game. Hell yeah. First, we have the Digital Deluxe Edition, available on all platforms. Players will nah. be able to heighten their survival horror experience with extra content, including in-game items that call back to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. There's also a Collector's <laughs> Edition Thick Chris figure. that includes all the Deluxe Edition content, as well as a striking figure of Chris Redfield, yeah. a steelbook case, poster, and art book. False and Chris Amiibo. For who haven't played the previous entry, we have the Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 7. Biohazard Bundle. This lets you get your hands on the award-winning RE7 while you wait for Resident Evil Village. Pre-order any of these editions the and you'll be able to oh. get your hands on both the Mr. Raccoon Weapon Accessory and their Survival Resource Pack, which will offer additional support during the first few hours of I was of like, do we get the Mr. Raccoon Finally, in real life? Digital pre-orders from the PlayStation Store will receive an exclusive Resident Evil Village mini soundtrack. Yeah. I mean, it's just more crap right. I don't need, but man, that box looks cool. I know cool. <laughs> you've been waiting for this. It's time for the world premiere first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Alongside this first look, we have Pete Fabiano back to offer some insights as well. Let's take a look. Uh, I, okay. Chat, do you think we're going to get RE4? Like an RE4 trailer? Now we're here to give you an exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Just like in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, you'll be taking control of Ethan Winters. You'll make your way from the village to the castle. Players will need to get in and search for their kidnapped dog. Chad, I'll be honest, this looks like dog As you've noticed by dog now, shit. Resident Evil Village Frame keeps rates. the first person perspective. We think it really draws players into the detailed world we've created. Yeah, it does have a Bloodborne vibe. Here you go, here's better frame rates. Sorry, chat. I didn't realize that restreaming this um, through the, the team put a ton of link was going to leave it looking like crap. Feel. From art design to technology, everything ties in great and creates some beautiful visuals. It does look good. Even the, when it freezes, it looks good too. Now it's time to meet some of the castle denizens. Great. As you'd expect. This is a all a mess. Not really what's in store for you. <laughs> Whoa! Man blood. <laughs> oh, that's what we're doing with this? Ethan's never walking again after that. Now, Paul. let's take a look at him. Wow. Well, Ethan Winters, you escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Oh my god. 
I like how far from zombies we've come with Resident Evil 8. <laughs> We're finally going to show off some combat. Yeah, let's, let's see if the video doesn't freeze while we're getting combat. It's not just about shooting. Guarding will also be an important part of the game. Oh, okay. Each type of enemy has their own distinct way of fighting, so you'll need to change up your strategy to defeat them. Everyone knows what to do with red barrels, uh, right? Yes. They explode? What did I win? Some of you will remember a similar management nice. system in Resident Evil 4. This time around, we've added crafting, which allows you to create items such as first aid and ammo. Well, 10 out of 10 crafting system, 10 out of 10 inventory system. There's also an assortment of weapons to find and utilize throughout the game. Maybe. I like that weapon. Bolt actions, please. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winter. Who is this Monty Python you know reject? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. The merchant makes a return. This time he's known as the Duke. The Duke? You'll be going to him to buy and sell weapons, amongst other things. I love the director that. You get like a Winchester. A look, and you'll often find him in different situations each time you encounter him. Oh, this He's is an amazing. Fella. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Smash away with your trusty knife. There's plenty of items to find in your travel. It's a fucking sound effect. The Nescar has been destroyed. Wait. Do you hear that? And we've also got extra objectives outside of the main ones. Was that Black Phillip from The Witch? Of course without saying that there'll be plenty of puzzles to solve for players to move forward. Nice. Oh, and uh, plenty of surprises to keep you on your toes. Stop freezing. Moths. Oh. I haven't cut open a man in a while. Jeez. Slice your jugular and just walk. I'm glad she said jugular. Well, that's one way to end the video. Wow, the pain looks a lot different now in this we've game. Showing you what's in store for Resident Evil Village. Let's take a look at the exclusive PlayStation 5. Exclusive demo. PS5. I'm not getting a PS5 to play the demo of this game. For this demo, players won't be playing as Ethan, but as a character we're referring to as the Maiden. Unlike the actual game, this experience doesn't feature combat or even blocking. What? You just look around at stuff? Just put it on VR. I'll just look around in VR. I, I guess it's like, um, Resident Evil PT. We're hoping to have players get a real feel for the visuals and audio as they take the maiden on her journey to find a way out of the castle. And you can download the exclusive demo on PlayStation 5 today. Of course, we want as many people as possible to get a chance to play. So we'll have a separate new demo available on all platforms ready for sometime this spring. How much Sony pay for that? I wonder. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the Resident Evil franchise. Looking the forward to uh, the Japan other demo. Back on March 22nd, 1996. Since then, the series has expanded well beyond the realm of video games. From toys and board games to CG movies to live action Hollywood films, Resident Evil has become a cultural icon. Resident Evil continues to offer surprises around every corner, so let's pass it along to producer Tsuyoshi Kanda to hear more about what you can expect in 2021. Hmm. Mo movies. Earlier this month, we started inviting players to join a Claude's beta test. The test won't happen until later next week. But I want to use this chance to reveal more details. With the 25th anniversary of Resident Evil coming on March 22nd, 
We are excited to celebrate this milestone with our fans. Last September, we showed off a piece of key art showcasing some of Resident Evil's iconic characters. Is, is YouTube like bad? Now, I'm happy to announce what was behind that. Let's take a look. So it's Leon, it's it's comic books, it's the police station. It's um REverse, Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil. We're, we're going back to this link with the shitty frame rates chat. I can't deal with this anymore. What what an awful experience this stream has been. I'm so sorry. So they're doing another multiplayer online thing. I knew it. Reverse. I don't know why I said Resident Evil 7 before, but yeah. Reverse is one of the ways we are celebrating the 25th anniversary of the franchise, showcasing so many of the characters that fans love. It'll be available for free to anyone who purchases Resident Evil Village. Okay, well, so it's free. So be sure to follow the Resident Evil social channels for the latest news. <laughs> and check out the official website for even more details. Available until March 31st. On behalf of Massive Entertainment and Ubisoft, congratulations to the Resident Evil team on their 25th anniversary. We can't wait to get our hands on our reverse. For the occasion, we are bringing a celebration to our game, Tom what? Francis The Division 2. Huh? For a limited time, you will be able to collect some of the iconic outfits and items from the original Resident Evil trilogy. Uh, Everyone that logs in during the event will get Leon Kennedy's Raccoon Police Department outfit as a warm-up. Now let's have a look at some of these. <laughs> okay. The people still play in The Division 2? I mean, I guess part of me um, wanted to play it when it first came out for a little bit, but uh, it's too late now, chat. I, I can't, I can't play it now. Honestly, a Smash crossover would have been a little bit more to my my liking, but okay. Now I'm the one complaining about lack of Smash content, fuck. I actually want to see this. Leon just keeps getting caught. Just keeps getting caught in these goddamn zombie apocalypses. Wow, a lot's been happening, and I hope you enjoyed watching. But if you missed anything along the way, don't worry. Keep an eye on the Resident Evil social channels and official website, which will be sharing everything from today's show. Wow. As a quick reminder, Resident Evil Village is available for pre-order starting today for the PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. And don't forget, PlayStation 5 owners also get a sneak peek through downloadable content available worldwide starting today. <laughs> You're gonna have to watch someone else stream that chat. To celebrate the amazing Resident Evil franchise leading up to its 25th anniversary with all of you across the globe. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, and thank you so much for watching. But we have Until next one time. more surprise. Resident Evil 4 Remake, nope. Weirdly enough, even though I didn't think Resident Evil 4 needed a remake, I was kind of looking forward to a potential trailer. And since we didn't get that... I'm upset. No Smash content. No Resident Evil 4. No Code Veronica remake. How dare you make new games, Capcom. Again, sorry about the crusty viewing experience, chat. I, like, I could not get good frame rates. And then when I got good frame rates, it froze. I don't get it. Well, uh, here's what I can say about that very short presentation. Resident Evil 8 looks even better than I thought it would.
like I knew it was going to be cool, but I, I like the way it looks. Um, I love the atmosphere of it. The, the, the tall lady is all well and good, but I really enjoy the world building that we've seen. And I like the Duke who's going to sell you Winchester rifles and other weapons and strange things like parfaits, um, blood parfait. It's great. It's all just really good. The atmosphere is good. I, listen, I like zombie apocalypse and I like when Resident Evil goes back to zombie apocalypse, but we got RE3 in 2020. And even though that game had some flaws, I liked it. I thought it was fun to play through. Short, but fun. And uh, the cool thing about RE3 was that it was the zombie apocalypse again. So I'm definitely satiated when it comes to zombie apocalypse in City. And I really love the castle segment of Resident Evil 4. That was one of my favorite sequences in any video game. And the fact that we're going into a weird castle with, like, the pain ladies who are going <laughs> to, like, put a fucking sickle in your kneecap. That is going to be fun. I can't wait to shoot. It's going to be great. But also just the Resident Evil, um, sure, it's first person. I think I prefer fourth, a fourth person for my Resident Evil games. I prefer the third person a little bit more. But first person was great in RE7, and I love that game too. So I think it'll be great. Um, yeah, overall, though, good presentation, short. That multiplayer game didn't really do anything for me because it was just more deathmatch. It'll be fun to check out for one stream. And um, I, I gotta be honest, the Resident Evil multiplayer stuff, they keep trying. It, it doesn't stick for me. I know some people liked um, last year's one, but it just doesn't stick. So I'd prefer to... Uh, I'd prefer to just play the, the single player stuff. And uh, I, I quite enjoyed what we saw today. Um, yeah, Mercenaries was great. That's the thing. Like, I really enjoyed Mercenaries, the 3DS Mercenaries, um, the Resident Evil 4 side mode. And then um, I also really liked the raid mode in Revelations. That stuff I actually played a lot of outside of the, the main campaign. So if they brought that back, if they did a full mercenaries mode or raid mode that would be cool i would play that but who knows maybe with the resident evil 4 remake we'll get a full online expanded mercenaries mode that could be something to look forward to um but yeah overall though not much to say because you saw it mostly when it wasn't lagging and uh, it was pretty good and i'm looking forward to resident evil 8 a lot like a lot lot and again, considering we don't have very much Breath of the Wild 2 footage, we just have one, excuse me, one trailer. The only thing I can say is, I can't wait for Breath of the Wild 2. But truthfully, the amount of gameplay we saw here, this might be my most anticipated game of this year, until we get more Breath of the Wild 2, if that even comes out this year. So, what else is uh, coming out this year, chat? Silk Song, I, you know, I like Hollow Knight a lot, but it's not um, my number one most anticipated. Trust me when I say Hollow Knight was great. I, I just, it, it, like I've said, people give me shit for this. This is just my opinion. Uh, too big, too much of it. Maybe Silk Song will condense a little bit and I'll love it even more. Hollow Knight did everything right for me, but I just started losing steam by the end. Um, I guess for a Metroidvania game... I like a good 5 to 15 hour long adventure. That's my personal preference. But uh Silk Song I I'm excited for a lot if it's going to be um if it's going to be a little bit more condensed. Halo Infinite, I hope it'll be good. Monster Hunter Rise, there you go. There's another Capcom game. I've I like the demo. Uh I really want that. Um Prime 4 is not coming out this year. <laughs> Hell no. Uh, Balin Wonderworld. The banana water? Wonder wa wa Banana water. I like it. Uh, Isaac DLC. More Isaac. Excited for that, too. Pokemon Snap, I'm gonna be playing. And Lego Star Wars. That actually looks really good. So, God of War. I don't really play God of War, so I don't know a whole lot about that. But 
Um, Elden Ring, possibly? Maybe. Starfield by Bethesda. I don't think that'll come out this year. Let's see. What other things? Um, Final Fantasy VII Part Two not going to come out this year. So then there's Bowser's Fury, which, uh, you know, we have this Mario thing coming out soon. I'm going to wait and see how long Bowser's Fury is before I pick up Mario 3D World again for, you know, full price. Um, but it does look good. It looks like something that would have been a better Mario Odyssey DLC. We've talked about this. But I think it's going to be really short. And my motivation to pick up a game that only has a couple hours of gameplay... Sure, the original is great, and I like the game a lot. I don't know if I want to pick it up again. But overall, out of every game everyone's mentioned, Resident Evil 8 is still my probably most anticipated. The inventory system being like RE4 is actually really exciting because there was a, almost like a mini game that you could play with your um, case, your weapon case in Resident Evil 4, and it was fun, and you could organize, and it, and it, was, it was good. So I like that that's back. And I also like the crafting system from RE7. So, good combination there. But yeah, very exciting. Um, what about Volcano High? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. New King Gizzard album coming out next month. Yes, indeed. Uh, that's true. That's happening. That is my favorite game of the year, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard album, LW. But anyway, I'm uh, I'm going to go. I just wanted to show up for this announcement. I'm going to relax a little bit. It was a short announcement, chat. I'm sorry I don't have more content for you right now. Um, but I wasn't planning on streaming anything other than the announcement. There's so little of it. But what we saw was good, and I hope um, May gets here quick so I can stream it. And the demo, I won't be able to stream the PS5 version, obviously, but when the demo comes out, I'll play that. So uh, I'll catch you later, everybody, and uh, thank you for stopping by for a couple minutes. And I will be streaming later on, so stop by then. These streams fresh. They just arrived.